Nick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Kansas State Wildcats and the St. Bonaventure Bonnies. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Bonnies could be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do they have to do if they want to have a chance to win tonight? Well, partner, here's what I see as the key to the game. Number one, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Well, that stat at the end could be a big one. Thirdly, get out on those shooters. Challenge every shot. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Feed the low block. Thinks about the shot. And up. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Both teams looking to get things going here. Now they're working around the perimeter. The small forward receives the ball. Off the rim and no good. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Cap the bucket and the foul. He made a statement in that play, baby. I ain't backing down. This is crime. He goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. Stays in control until they regroup the offense. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Nice high post screen. The land. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. From left to the circle. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. The skip pass is picked off. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. And in and out. Looking for the foul. In and out. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Shoots it. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Sets the screen for his teammate. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. In space, and that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. They're called for a shot clock violation. Very poor ball movement, Brad. The defense is doing a great job of keeping the ball out of scoring positions. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Number 12 receives the pass. 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And off the mark. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Number two handles the pass. Looking for a good shot. Number 15 is feeling good. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. He's got the post flashing if he wants it for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Up and inside. Number 50 with the foul. Second team foul. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free-throw line. Well, he created the foul opportunity. Takes those free-throws, count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby! Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. High post flashes for the ball handler. Tries for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. There's a double team waiting there. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I tell the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The shooting guard handles the feed. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block for the bucket. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. They'll work it around the arc. On the inside. Goes up for two. Sinks the shot. Gave it up, fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He fires it up, way off target. Working around the perimeter, looking for a good shot. He throws it up from downtown, gets it to go. Ball down low, but it's kicked out. He attempts 
the trifecta. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They go into the low block. Entry pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. Tries for two. Goes in. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job, not a lot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. to the defender. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three ball. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Gave it up. Number one picks up the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way, you spin back the other way. on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Got it. This is worth the second look. Now trying to feed the low block. Now he faces up on the low block. I think mean, it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. And a momentary look from three-point land. And take some pride on a defensive end. Working it around the perimeter. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. They work the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Both teams looking to get things going here. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. down the low block and there's a steal a oh, terrific job anticipating reading the offense and making that steal goes up for two and a shot block
Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Wow, the defender got the worst of that hard screen. Gave it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. Number 50 with the finger roll. Look at that spacing. And the ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The ball goes out of play. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. That spin move not six. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He bombs from outside. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Got it down the low block. Kansas State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. He takes the three off the rim and no good. Ball's kicked out from the post. He shoots. The Bonnies have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Pick up the defense here now. Number 50 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Gets the first shot. Two at the charity strike. Now they work it around the perimeter. High post flasher is open. He uses the shot fake. On the dribble, gives it up. Looks at the three. Way off target. Gave it up. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. He shoots from downtown. 
poor decision there to shoot that three. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They're working around the arc. Gave it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. On the dribble, gives it up. Makes the shot. With a little baby hook. And he missed. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play out there and you're fronting. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. from the post and goes the other way. Elio trying to draw the foul. The land. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Looking for a good shot. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Puts it on the floor and up and under. They still don't score. Spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. From the top of the circle, he drains the three. Up and inside. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. We'll take the shot. It sticks. Here's another look, Dick. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Or two? Look at that try. There. That's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Defensively. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. That spin move's not going to work against. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries for two. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Off the rim and no good. He can't get the bucket to fall. 
Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. At the end of the first half, the Wildcats are up by seven. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. St. Bonaventure collected very few rebounds out there, Mr. Vitale. Is it a lack of aggression, you think? Hey, if they're lacking aggression, that would mean they had some to begin with. I saw no aggressiveness towards rebounding in the first half. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. For two. I tell you, great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Jumped in front to take it away. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Knocks it down. Dumps it in. Picks off the pass. Tries for two. Now they work it around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He's going to see this guy to sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The power forward takes the feed. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Five second count winding down. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots, makes it. Job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's piling the ball with a duck. Where's he going? They work it back to the outside. Looks for a three-pointer. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. It won't fall. The power forward takes the pass. Gave it up. They work the perimeter. Steals the pass. The point guard gets the pass. Up and inside. For the deuce. 
Kansas State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He goes with a baby hook. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Contact causes the shot to come off. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The point guard with the ball. From beyond the arc, the friendly bounces aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. On the outside, the small forward gets the ball. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Drips him clean. It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. He fires away. He gets the shot to fall. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He takes the shot off the baseline. Way off target. Inside. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. And he'll kick it back outside. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Set that screen away. He shoots from the top of the circle. Number 50 snatches the offensive board. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up with a little baby hook. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. Pass down low. There's a drop step. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. He unloads a three. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. That shot was definitely ill-advised. They work it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's a double team. Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Dick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. 
They're having a rough time getting them to drop, Brad. They should take them to the basket and get some easy hoops. He wants a three. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. Moving it around the perimeter. He throws up the shot. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. And working around the perimeter. For two. Perfectly executed. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. The shooting guard in the paint. Number 15 makes a great move to draw the foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. Second one, no good. He gets the board. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. In and out. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. it around the arc work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart and Dick this is just playing good defense really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot goes up for two it doesn't get any better unless you watch it again destroy a team. There they come with a double team to stop it. Goes. How about a replay, boys? Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Wildcats are up by 15. On the outside, he tries to knock down the three. Rims out. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal strong. Let's it fly. They're punishing the rim with those misses from three-point lane. Yeah, Brad. No one seems to have found the touch. And a momentary look from three-point land. Looking for a screen on top and got it. That's an eight zip run. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Number two is charged with the foul. First team foul. He's got a high 
post flasher. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From the baseline, off the rim and no good. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the line. Misses. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. Kansas State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. And now they get that rejected. Up and inside. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Ten on the shot clock. Sinks it. Let's take a look at that last basket. it up for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Picks off the lazy pass. Pump thanks. And he'll kick it back outside. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. In the paint. He goes with a jump hook. Rims out. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Come up with a steal, and they do. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He unloads. He makes the shot. High post screen, gonna use it. Off the rim and no good. It might be safe just to start that bus up. I think this one's over. Start the bus, baby. This one is over. The winning team can't relax. They're over there feeling good. Steal. Up it inside. They've left him completely alone. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He goes for three. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. He intercepts it. Number two takes the pass in the paint. He shoots from downtown. Rims out. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. Any chance these guys are going to slow up on D tonight, Dick? Hey, not on your life, Brad. This defense is here to stay, baby. 
Number 21 is seemingly at an emotional low right now. Hey, well, offensively, he's probably not feeling it. Defensively, he's been a step behind. He's going to have to turn things around. Working it around the perimeter. From the top of the key. He gets that one to fall. For two, rims out. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Intercepted. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Let's it fly. Buries it. The defense is taking a beating. Back to the drawing board, baby. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Unloads a three. Scorches the net. Pushes it up with a quarterback pass. Gave it up. There's the trap. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice move with a face up. I tell you what, Brown, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Loads. He comes up empty. Shot clock is dead. Listen to that response. What a response. What enthusiasm. Double team now, bad angle. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on, one team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. The Wildcats is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.